It's Salvaje. I'm back at it again with another Fortnite Save the World Hero Mastery video. So I want to cover Master Grenadier Ramirez on this video because we're heading into a brand new season, season 11 of Fortnite Save the World. At the time of making this video, I don't know if the game's going to go free or not, but I'm pretty sure it's going to go free on season 12. Uh, but the point is, there's going to be new players coming to Save the World next season. And maybe you're one of those new players and you have Master Grenadier Ramirez and you want to find out how to maximize her and how to uh, pretty much play her to the best of your abilities. Or, of course, you want to try out Master Grenadier Ramirez because you are an endgame player yourself. Well, this is the video for you. I also wanted to choose Master Grenadier Ramirez because the Keep Out Team Perk is a team perk that you have as part of the base game. And uh, some people might not know any good loadouts with Master Grenadier Ramirez. As always, just like with every Hero Mastery video, this isn't the ultimate top tier best loadout ever, but it is definitely a top tier loadout. There's a lot of top tier loadouts in Fortnite Save the World for Massacre of the Ramirez. This is simply one of them, and this is one of them that is going to give you a lot of broken AoE mechanics. So, Master Grenadier Ramirez is going to be increasing the radius of your frag grenade by 150% if you have it on the commander slot. This means that the keep out energy field after your grenade explodes is going to be huge, and you're going to be getting a lot of value out of it. We're going to be talking about how to maximize that pretty soon. Actually, we're going to be talking about it right now. So, something that I like to do with the keep out team perk and with grenades in Fortnite Save the World, if you guys see a shielder husk, right, what you guys want to do is you want to throw the grenade above the shielder husk and that's going to cause the energy field to be sort of like floating in the air. And that's a really good way to take care of shielder husk really, really easily. Because as you guys know, those shielder husks are really, really annoying. And sometimes like people actually tend to ignore them. Or, you know, maybe the shielder husk is just increasing the health of the husk. Yeah, sometimes people ignore them. It just doesn't work out, right? The Shielder Husk needs to be eliminated as fast as possible. And that's why I really like Master Grenadier Ramirez. She's a really good hero at the endgame levels of play. If, of course, you don't have some of the other top tier heroes like Breakbeat Wildcat, for example. Which I absolutely think that you should get because you can obtain Breakbeat Wildcat from the Rat Llamas that are going to be leaving Save the World very, very soon. So that's going to be the main driving force of our Keep Out Team perk and the grenades that Master Grenadier Ramirez has. But, most importantly, we're also going to be using our grenades uh, on the spawn of where the husk uh, sort of come from. And the reason for that is because you basically want to control spawns with Master Grenadier Ramirez. So one of the reasons why I like this hero is because, of course, you can play a constructor, you can set up trap tunnels, or you can play a ninja to camp a spawn. But sometimes I don't want to play a ninja, right? Sometimes I want to play a soldier. Sometimes I want to use my ranged weapons, right? And Master Grenadier Ramirez has a lot of potential when it comes down to guarding spawns, specifically at the end game levels of play, guys. This is a level 124 mission. And as you guys can see, my grenade and my keep out energy field is just completely obliterating all of the husks that are coming out from the spawn, okay? Another thing that I like to do with uh, keep out grenades and Master Grenadier Ramirez's ability, you know, bigger is better. Uh, you want to throw two grenades at the same time in the spawn, but you never want to throw three of your grenades or four of your grenades at the same time or within the same uh, sort of uh, time frame. And the reason for that is because, well, now we're going to talk about uh, the support team and the support heroes that's going to be making our loadout better. Uh, I'm going to be using Battlehound, okay? And this, this guy isn't part of the base game. If you don't have Battlehound, just use Survivalist Jonesy, which is actually part of the base game. Survivalist Jonesy is going to be really helpful with Master Grenadier Ramirez because you're going to cause a lot of AoE damage. Husk are constantly going to be dying. You're constantly going to be regenerating health. I just decided to not use uh, Survivalist Jonesy because I wanted that extra frag grenade in my loadout. Uh, for the next hero that I'm going to be using, I'm using uh, Rescue Trooper Ramirez. Uh, she's going to be giving me extra damage to my Assault Rifle. And I am going to be using an Assault Rifle, so of course, that's why she's there. But for the most part, if I'm doing a level 100 and below mission, I can definitely rock Survivalist Jonesy as well. You know, maybe put in a sword into my loadout just for fun, etc, etc. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to put Rescue Trooper in the loadout uh, because she is part of the base game. Next hero, Four Leaf Wildcat. So, frag grenades are going to regenerate as time passes, right? You don't just waste three frag grenades and then you just, you know, you're, you're, you're out of frag grenades for the entire match, right? Frag grenades are going to regenerate. But, what Four Leaf Wildcat, you know, lets us do is every 45 eliminations, we're going to be getting a frag grenade charge, which means we're going to be getting our grenades faster. 
And guys, that's why, you know, that leads me forward to my next point. You need to make sure that your camping spawns with Master Grenadier Ramirez. Like, sometimes I see MGR players sort of on the objective, waiting for the hus to come towards them, right? If you are afraid of dying, run Survival is Jonesy. You don't really need the extra assault rifle damage because your grenades are going to be making up for it. But mastering G Master Grenadier Ramirez and being a really destructive force of AoE damage, area of effect, by the way, if you don't know what AoE means, it's really, really crucial, you know, to being effective and adding a lot of value into your team, okay? As you guys are going to be seeing in the gameplay in the background, like, I always had grenades to throw because I was getting those eliminations very, very quickly. And that's why, of course, I also like to run the hover turret as a gadget, right? Sometimes I'm going to be overwhelmed. Sometimes I don't really have a lot of grenades to throw. So I'm going to throw the gadget at a specific spawn. And the gadget uh, or the hover turret is going to watch the spawn with me. Which is going to give me more grenades. Which is going to prepare me for the upcoming wave of husk that we are, of course, going to uh, you know, be going up against. And as you guys know, I love the Shockwave ability in Fortnite Save the World. It's one of my favorite abilities. 47,000 damage. And this that's because this guy is at level 40, by the way. But we're going to be run, uh, running a Shock Trooper Renegade. And he's going to be decreasing the cooldown of our Shockwave. For the most part, as you guys know, I like to use Shockwaves against Refrigerator Husk. They're really annoying. Uh, if there's a Shielder Husk around you, you can also use Shockwave as well. If there's a lot of enemies around you, you can use Shockwave as well. Uh, the thing is, um, you know, sometimes, like, you're not going to be overwhelmed if you're doing a good job of your grenades. But in game modes like Destroy the Encampment, yeah, the uh, Shockwave can be very, very helpful if, of course, you're waiting for your grenades to come back. And uh, the next hero that I'm using is uh, Demolitioner Jonesy. And this guy is part of uh, the uh, holidays, like the Christmas event for Fortnite Save the World. So if you don't have him and you're watching this video, like, sort of uh, later on around around the holidays chances are that he is most likely going to come back but he gives us the cluster bomb ability which is going to make our grenades do even more damage and uh yeah he's just overall really good i'm running adrenaline rush because i'm not running survivalist jonesy but if i were to be running survivalist jonesy i would take out adrenaline rush and i would put in either the banner to have support for my teammates or uh, I would put in the slow feel. The slow feel is also pretty Gucci. And if you want to go like all 100% AOE, sure, uh, put on the airstrike. Personally, I've avoided using the airstrike because sometimes I feel I don't get a lot of value out of it. Let me know in the comment section if you guys use the airstrike gadget. Usually, I like to run it out with ninjas. But that's how you master, master Grenadier Ramirez. See what I did there? Uh, but yeah, MGR, really good hero. I really enjoy using her. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're interested in more quality Save the World content, as always, you guys can hit that subscribe button and uh, like the video as well. That would uh, that, that will always, uh, of course, help me out. I'll be seeing you guys on the next one. Peace out.